Welcome back to Resident Evil 4 and Aspie Let's Play. Let's proceed to the village. Given the fact that the player has very little idea as to what to expect in this game, this section is relatively challenging. That's a body. There are a lot of enemies in this place. They come at you from all directions. The only weapons you have are the handgun and the shotgun in the house. These guys have projectiles, regular throwing weapons, they have barehanded attacks, and they're also chainsaw enemies, which can only deal death in this game. My objective right now is to get to the chainsaw guy at one of the exits to the village. He drops 10,000 gold. I want as much money as humanly possible. You're mine. I gotta make sure that guy stays down. Fuck all of you. I'm doing pretty good so far. I haven't gotten hit, haven't died. Casualty number one. Gotcha! I'll let me just shape your money. You guys can suck my balls. Let's get that shotgun. No dares to escape! You can't escape! Go from behind. We're gonna get this Americano. Where are they planning? Vroom, vroom, vroom! So much intensity! I'm going to kill you! The chainsaw guy is just outside, I'm just gonna grab some- Yeah, it's small items, we'll get this shit. Let's get that fucking shotgun. Hand grenade is also good. I gotta... I'm gonna resist the urge to use the hand grenade until after the chainsaw guy's dead. If I kill too many people, the chainsaw guy's gonna disappear along with everybody else in this place. Where's the chainsaw guy? I just took a yellow herb. Whenever you take a yellow herb in combination with a green or a red herb, it increases your maximum health. There are enough yellow herbs in this game to fill the bar up completely with my health on the right. As you can see, it goes all the way to from the 3 o'clock to the 12 o'clock position. If I find all the yellow herbs, I'll find more than enough to fill all of my health. Where is that chainsaw guy? There you are! Jeez, I'm crow. Yeah, you weren't close enough to hit me, idiot. Piece of shit. Fuck. These guys are gonna make it difficult, they keep swarming me. Yeah, just try and catch up with me. Please don't swing into me, please don't swing. Yes! Oh, thanks for telling me! These guys are so nice. When they say de trust the imbecile, that means I'm behind you, stupid. So whenever they say that, they tell me that there's an enemy right behind me. Thank you, game. 
Thank you for being so gosh darn helpful. Come on. I just gotta get into a more comfortable position. Hopefully they'll give me another detrusty if anybody comes from behind. Get the fuck back. Get the fuck back! Where's the chainsaw guy? Okay, I gotta reload my shotgun. Chance that guy's still alive. That girl's about to throw a hatchet at me. Come on, where are you? I'm ready for you. There you are. This calls for a first aid spray. Uh, let me use one of these. Is that it? Yes! Alright! He is dead! Esta muerte! Es muerte! What am I talking about? I can't remember Spanish. Okay, uh, I gotta figure out. I'm gonna use a hand grenade on these guys, actually. It's time to pray. We have to go. Lord Sadler. I wonder why they call him Lord. Lord is an English man. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense, I tell you. Where's everyone going? Bingo? Yeah, because they totally... That's totally what they call it, Leon. They call it Bingo. Yeah, Leon is very... He, he's not very... Oh, worldly. With, oh, crap, I just skipped it. Okay. Uh, That was a message from Ingrid Hunnigan. Again. Let's see if I remember it off the top of my head. Hunnigan, I have some bad news. I've confirmed the body of an officer. Something has happened to the people here. Uh, and then she tells him, Look for a tower and follow the trail near it, so... Tower. Trail. This next part is going to take me a while. I, after I'm done reloading my weapons, I'm going to go around and collect all the items in this place. Alright, shh, Leon's freaking boot! Taking down everything. Alright, is there something in this ch There's nothing on this chimney. Also take note of the jacket that Leon is wearing. This is a very nice jacket. You know, very... Very woodsy. Actually, I don't know if leather and woods actually go together. I don't know anything about fashion. I always liked that jacket. So I think it's a shame that he has to give it up so quickly. You have no idea what happens to it. 
in starting in the PS2 version of the game where you can play separate ways, you will find out that one of the villagers <laughs> stole his jacket. <laughs> and when you find when you find this person as Ada, he's like, "This is Leon's jacket. Why is he wearing it?" I mean, it's supposed to be a world without sinners, people. Or maybe it's because they think that Leon is a heathen. Therefore, oh, you can take whatever you want from the heathens. You can take their lives. You can take their families. You can take their children and their wives. And you can take their jackets because they are heathens and they do not mean anything to us. Yes. I have a lot of first aid items. That's great. My assessment so far, I am doing excellent. I have a nice supply of first aid items. My ammo stores are they're they're pretty up there and I also got the maximum amount of money for clearing the village. I got the ruby and the 10,000 gold from killing both of the chainsaw guys. That's going to be important later on. The more money you have in this game, the more upgrades you can buy for your weapons, the more quickly you can buy storage deck upgrades for your attache case so you can start picking up more items. The more items you can pick up, the more items you can sell when you just have too many. Or you pick up ammo for weapons that you're not using. Did I just get 3,300 fucking gold from that? What is going on here? Wait. I seriously just got 3,300 gold from that. There's a dirty bed here. It appears that the stains are of someone's blood. La sangre. Is that everything? Nope, one box left. Alright guys, I'm gonna cut the video here. When we come back, I'm moving on to the third room in the game, moving my way towards Lewis in the end of chapter 1-1. I'll see you guys then.